I, I, uh, yeah, the room span. I sat up and I fell back down. It was spinning so badly. So I just feel a bit sick. So, yeah, not the best, but we're all right. Um, so we're out in the garden. It's a rather nice day. The sun's out. Just show you. Let's turn you around. It's a bit cloudy. There's some blue sky. Jennifer's playing with some stones. I still feel a bit dizzy. I've got um, my phone, a cup of tea with my Weird Sisters mug from when we did Weird Sisters at the Dolman, some fine liners and Lost Ocean because I am doing a page in here which is really detailed. I'll just find it. I don't know where it is. Hang on, it's a bit back a bit. Hang on. Let me just find it. Here it is. So I seem to be doing lots on it, but it just doesn't seem to be getting any fuller. So I'm going to do a bit of that and I'll check in with you a bit later. Hi, Bubble. Bubble. Here you go. Jen. It's one o'clock and we're back out in the garden. Still got a bit of vertigo. It's not good. But Jen wanted to play with a ball. A baby! So we're back out. Another cup of tea. Still got my book. And Jennifer wants a cuddle. So I'll be back in a bit. So as you can see, I'm still working on this. I'm now working on the yellow bits. But every now and again, I do find a few of the green that I haven't coloured. So that's why I put the pens upside down in the pot. So I know which ones I'm using. And that way... If I miss a colour or I find a bit I haven't coloured in, I can do it. Jennifer's over there playing, playing with her sand. While I sit here, she's quite happy on her own. If she wanted me, she'd come and drag me over and I'd let her. But uh, she don't want me interfering at the moment. So, yeah, we're getting through this one now. I'll see how much of it I can, can do this afternoon. I'm not expecting to finish it by tomorrow night, which is the last day of the month. I have got one I'm going to try and finish tonight, um, which is the Enchanted Forest um, title page. I've just only got a few things left on it to do. Um, I've been using the ink tents on that, so I want to get that out and finish that off. And I've also got a picture in World of Flowers that I'm doing with watercolours that I haven't finished, so I might try and do that as well. This evening, after she's gone to bed, I'll sit at the table and do some water-based stuff. Yeah, I'll show you how it's going once uh, well, a bit later on because obviously I'm keeping an eye on Jennifer at the same time and she's just having fun playing with her uh, sand at the moment it's a gorgeous day it's lovely and warm in the sun it was cold earlier but blinking lovely now see you in a bit morning everybody it's Tuesday funnily enough I'm in the garden again Jennifer wanted to to go out the front this morning but we haven't got a front garden so she kicked off and eventually I just came out and left her in the kitchen and she wanted to come out then so just get some fresh air I got some washing on the line I got my colouring book a cup of tea I'll show you how I'm doing with it if I can find it here we go I'll just uh, turn it round I won't be a sec as you can see I've done all the green and the yellow and uh, I'm doing the fishes now. Hi. Say hello, Jen. Hello. <laughs> Good girl. So one evening I had a couple of sales the other day and I've just pulled those. And I just went into eBay and sent a couple of offers to watchers and somebody bought something straight away. So I pulled that and put it in the bag. Um, hopefully my post office is still accepting parcels. Mother. I know some aren't. Yes, Jen, Jen. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? And as far as I know they are, so I'll get those addressed and when Paul goes down to get a loaf of bread, maybe this afternoon, um, he can drop them off for me. Anything large letter I'm just putting into a post box because I have to print them off of, uh, print labels off myself. Um, so that's cool. So. It's a loss this month of around 70 quid, 80 quid. It'll be a bit more because I've got to order some packaging supplies. Um, part of that is because I spent 70 at the auction. I haven't even got any of that listed yet. I've, I've got to start doing it. Um, but it goes a bit better today. It was bad yesterday. It's still there. It's just on and off now. So we're hoping I might get some eBay done today. Get some stuff listed. And like I said, if it's a large letter, 
I just bung it in the box, put, print out a label off of uh, Royal Mail, drop it in the post box, and it goes when it goes. Everything's on 10 days dispatch anyway at the moment due to the, the situation, and I'm dispatching as and when I can. So when Paul goes down to the post office. But I got some computer games that I need to check and try and get them listed, cleaned up, you know, listed, tested, all that good stuff. Lots of more. I've got a PlayStation 1 in there that needs testing. Try and get that tested at some point. I've got a load of cameras that I still haven't got listed from the last lot I bought at the auction, which was over a year ago. Um, so my plan is, I've got some clothes upstairs that need to be photographed and listed. I'm going to do all that first. And the computer games, because they're uh, the Xbox games, because they're in the front room. I'm going to get all that done first, and then I'm going to start pulling bits of cameras out and, and giving them a test, photographing them, getting them listed. If I get rid of all the clothes, I can set up the photo tent in the spare room and just leave it up and then go and photograph a few items every day, get them, get them listed. I've got some jewellery that can be listed. So I'm, I'm not going to write stuff anytime soon. I will probably before the lockdown's over and then I'll just be monitoring it, sending out offers and hopefully getting a few sales that way. I might have a look at eBay and see if there's some job lots of clothes I can buy from there see what happens I'm, I'm going back to my colouring now while we're out in the garden because I can't do any eBay unless uh, somebody buys something and it's in the shed and of course I can pull it Jen loves the shed she loves going in there and she plays with the jewellery um, that hasn't been uh, photographed it's just sitting in a box there's probably one more load there so who knows when this is all over we'll hopefully uh, get to the auctions again um, I do like the auction it is really good it's just a matter of being careful and not over overpaying. Um, I bought a lot of cam. I bought some cameras last time as well. And one of those I've sold previously for around twenty. So, and I only paid twenty for the lot, or twenty-five for the lot. So I know I'll get my money back on that. No, so, and nobody else wanted it. Surprisingly, maybe because they think cameras aren't going to sell in this climate. Maybe they won't. But uh, it gives me momentum on my account. I mean, the dress, one of the items I sold, has been hanging around for over a year, and it's just gone. It's gone really cheap. Um, but I'm happy just to get rid of it. So I'm going back to my colouring. Jennifer's throwing sand everywhere and she's got some on her hand so she's complaining. She's definitely not, I don't know where she gets this from, but every time she gets something on it, she moans. She, she, wants, she doesn't like being dirty at all. It's ever on her face. If she can see it, she doesn't like it. Obviously on her face, she can't see it. But it's like when I was her age, I was the happiest sitting in a pile of mud, making mud pies and getting filthy and I didn't care. She gets a bit of sand on her and she freaks out. Anyway, I better go and sort her out, so I'll see you in a little while. Hi guys, it's Andrea. It's um, late now, it's getting on. Um, let me just turn this off. Just been watching some uh, videos on YouTube, getting my sales ready. I've had another one tonight. I've already got the address label ready, so I'll get that ready for Paul to take down tomorrow. Filmed a few videos and I've started coloring another page in the Gothic Alchemy um, book. So I'm just going to show you that very quickly. So I'm going to do this one, which is called Nah Nihal Acre. Um, as you can see, I've got a flesh tone out. I'm just doing her skin and I'm using the Black Widows because Black Widows work really well on this paper from um, Color in Heaven, and I've heard that they work really well on these. Although I'm not sure, we'll have to see going to give it a go so I've never done grayscale with pencils so this is a first for me um, I've just finished filming a few flip throughs and my completed pages for March I'm going to set that up to edit together and get ready for uploading and then I'm going to go to bed while it does that because it can do that while I'm asleep that's about it for today again not a lot happening here during the day and at night we went out again in the afternoon I finished off that page it's in my completed pages if you want to see it of the lost ocean um Jennifer had a bit of a tantrum before bed because she didn't sleep this afternoon and she was really tired and I'm gonna yawn myself now <sighs> um yeah so she um, didn't have a sleep this afternoon, she was really tired. She had a bit of a tantrum because she wanted to go outside again. And we said no, it was getting dark. It was, well it wasn't getting dark, it was still really light. But it was it was cold. The light was dimming a little bit out there and she was not having any of it. She threw a wobbly big time. Talk about the terrible twos. I managed to calm her down. Watch some waffle with her, calm sang to her and she was... Then she said she was hungry because she didn't eat all her dinner, so she had some. She had a couple of yogurts. She loves yogurt. And then after the yogurt, she let me get her changed, and I said, "You going to bed?" She went, "No." 
and I, uh, she st I stood her up and I went, come on, bedtime. And she goes straight to the stairs and up the stairs. So she's good as gold, really. So she's asleep. So I'm just going to just finish what I'm doing and get this video edited. And I'm off to bed myself and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Don't know what's going to be happening tomorrow. Not a lot. Paul's obviously going to the post office. Um, but that's because uh, he needs to go down early because we need a loaf of bread. I have got bread in the freezer if necessary. Um, but I don't know if I like a piece of toast for breakfast. Sorry, I'm so yawning. I am so tired. So I've been reading my book a bit. I'm on book four of A Vinyl Detective now. Uh, flip back, which is the fourth one. Waiting for the fifth one to come out in May. Um, but yeah, it's first of April tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see what we're doing. Probably not much. We'll be outside colouring again. Might be tidying up a bit because Jennifer's got all her toys out and we've put most of them back but I keep finding bits. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Uh, first of April. Oh, April Fool's Day. So look yeah. out for all those tricks oh, online. Yeah. Jen, don't climb on me and knock the teeth flying. So we're in the yeah. garden because that's all she Mama. wants to do. Say hello. No. Hi, It's you, isn't it? And, um, yeah, so we're uh, in the garden, as oh. usual, because that's the only place she really wants to play. Have you come? <laughs> I've got a colouring book with me, just in case, because she might go and play off with her sand in a minute. Um, had an order yesterday, so I've just pulled that out of the shed. She loves the shed. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mummy, look. Mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we're all right. We're all right, aren't we? Bye. Say wait, wait, bye, bye. So we're just going to play, and we'll check in with you later. Dad, Dad. Daddy's downstairs, isn't he? In the living room, working. So yeah, so we're going to crack on, and if I can find the off switch, I'll see you later. Bye. So we're both still out here colouring. As you can see, Jennifer's doing a nice picture there, aren't you? And she's taking all the tops off the felt pen, so they're not going to work later. And we'll have to try and put them back on. Yeah, they'll roll off, darling. Don't worry, I'll pick it up in a second. And I'm working on this one from Gothic Alchemy. And I'm using the Black Widows. This is the first time I've done it with pencils. But I know Black Widows work well on this paper, and I've heard they work well on this grayscale. I've got to go and get that top, so it won't be a sec. Can you see yourself? Good morning, everybody. It's Andrea again. Here we are. It's... What day is it, Jen? Thursday? Thursday. Yeah, she's nodding. Funnily enough, we're out in the garden, but I've been up since half past six um, because they sent me some IT kit over from work so I can do some work from home, but I have to do it around Jennifer, so they're aware of that, so I just get on and do it as and when I can. Mostly it's just uh, admin support, emails and stuff like that, so I've done everything that was assigned to me so far today and a few extra, so she wanted to come outside and play, so we're outside playing. No emails are coming into our queue at the moment, it's broken, so there's only about 11 there, so I'm not worried about that. Somebody will pick them up and do them. Once it's fixed, I'll have a look and do a few more. It's fine. Um, I can't do work if there's nothing to do. So, we're out in the garden. I've got some stuff here to go into the shed. I've also got a couple of orders to pull, so I might as well do that while I'm up here. I forgot about those, I've got two actually. Um, yeah, I've got a colouring book because I started, I'm on my second picture for the month. I did a whole picture yesterday. I started it on the 31st, but I'd only done the skin, um, and it's a picture from Gothic Alchemy. And I just sat there and did it yesterday while we were playing, you know, I did some out here, and she was, uh, when, when she was with her dad, I did it a bit more, did a bit more in the evening, and I managed to finish it. Um, that's one thing about those grayscale, you don't have to colour it all in, because it's grayscale, so like the sky is really dark. So although I went over it with a light blue, it, it was pretty much done. It was one with gravestones. The gravestones looked fab the way they were. So other than colouring in the ivy, I just left them alone. So that's great. So it's a nice easy one. I'm on my second one, which is one from my uh, mandala book that I do every month. And I've nearly finished that. So I'm going to try and finish that today. And then we're two for two. Let's see if we do one every day. It won't last, but you know, I'm going to try and beat my total from last month, which was 13. I know I haven't put it up yet. I will have by the time you've seen this, but I haven't put it up as of Thursday, the 2nd of April. I just forgot to do it yesterday. It'll be done sometime today. So I'm gonna go and pop this stuff in the shed. I'll show you the shed um, when I'm in there at the moment so you can see what sort of state it's in. It's not too bad, and I'll pull those orders as well. 
So here we are in the shed. As you can tell, Jennifer loves it in here, don't you, Jen? She's particularly drawn to the box costume jewellery, which I'm slowly listing as uh, bulk. Because there's nothing really good in there, but it's all right. It's like bulk job lots. So this is all my clothing on this side. Well, mostly. There's three boxes of clothing that side, which is coats, dresses, um, and jumpers. Um, I got one box for dresses, one for jumpers and cardigans, and one for coats. So those games are what came from the auction. That came from the auction, that PlayStation there. That lot came from the auction, and that camera bag came from the auction. The camera bag's not in very good condition, but the rest of it's fine. There's some cameras in there, I'll test them up at some point. So I'm just going to put some stuff away and I won't be a sec. So I've put away what I need to and I've pulled the two I've sold which is a next two-tone t-shirt and a Dorothy Perkins sparkly top. They don't go for much money but it's all a little bit and I need to order some of those poly bags because I'm down to less than 50. I think I'm on about 47, 46. Basically what I do is I count 50 and I put a piece of paper on those and say um, 50 left, order now. And with the bigger ones I use for jumpers and dresses, because I don't seem to sell as many as those, I do it at 25. 25 left, order now. I'm going to order 200 of those and I'll do the same one I need to order the big ones. But we're outside now, Jennifer's playing up in the, um, the rocks, so she's quite happy down there. I'll keep an eye on her, do a bit of colouring. Well, uh, until she decides to go in and I'll go back to work. So it's still Thursday and we're back outside again. This is the third time we've been out today. It rained last time. It's you! Um, I finished my picture in the mandala book and now I'm going to do one from this one and I'm going to do, if I can get it to open, this little mermaid here. Why not, eh? So I've got my markers. I'm going to use my touch new skin tones and my touch fives use them up a bit let's see what we can do so i'll show you what i've done when i've done it hi guys thursday night it's near the end of the week oh i'm tired i'm watching a classic british horror film from 1972 it's called death line um it's directed by gary sherman and stars donald pleasant as you can see, there's a lot of screaming going on we're near the end now um, it also features Norman Rossington, who is in A Hard Day's Night, and Christopher Lee as an MI5 agent. Um, Clive Swift is in it, briefly. And basically, it's, the, it's set on the London Underground um, in the modern day, 1972, as it was then. And it's sort of a what-if horror film. So the general premise is that in 1892, um, a tunnel collapsed when we were building um, one of the lines. And the company went bust and they didn't have the money to dig out the bodies of the people who were buried there. And there was also the thought that they could have survived because there were air pockets down there and plenty of water. And as Clive Swift's character put it, and plenty of food as well because as each one of them died, I would imagine they ate him. So the premise is basically what would have happened if those people survived. There were eight men and, and four women down there. And had they survived and procreated, um, this may be like the third generation so the first people would have been the people who died, then there would have been a generation, and then the people we're dealing with. Um, had they survived, and could they find their way out of the tunnel, run out of food, and come up and basically kidnap people to take them down to eat them? I actually find it quite a sad film. It's a it's just classic gore, um, campy horror film, but I actually find it quite sad that uh, this poor guy is down there and he's on his own because everybody else has died. His girlfriend who was pregnant has also died, so he's on his own. And it's just so sad. So, but that's it, I'm gonna watch the end of the film and then I'm off to bed for the night. I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Did I even? Morning everybody, we're in the garden. It's Friday and we're playing with the ball, aren't we? Ready, Jen? Oh, that was useless again. Mummy not very good at kicking the ball. Hang on. It's not very easy in a pair of slippers. There you go. Oh, now she's found something else. Okay. So it's Friday morning. Well, Friday lunchtime almost. Uh, Paul's just gone 
down the shop to get a few supplies and have his daily walk and uh, taking some posts down so I had a few sales I had one this morning which is going off it's on 10 day dispatch but as he's going down he might as well uh, everything else will just go off as and when probably won't do anything till around Wednesday next week now posting depends on Paul so an itch I've done my work for the day um, which is great um, it's really hard with Jennifer to do anything because she's just constantly tugging and wanting attention uh, so yeah but I managed to get it done and I'm sitting out here I'm gonna get my uh, Hannah Lynn colouring book out and have another go I plan on getting out my Easter my Jade Summer Easter colouring book which is a nice simple one do a few in that just because it's Easter next weekend and that'd be nice to do a few Easter pictures so I'll, I'll check in with you later oh I have bought a record cleaning thing called uh, Spin Care not Spin Clean Spin Clean is the famous one the yellow one this one is a slightly cheaper one it's a similar system um, but I haven't tried it yet because I forgot about it last night so uh, with any luck I, I was watching a film uh, I'll I'll show you it tonight <clears throat> yeah I started watching a horror film instead because I, I wanted to the film was called Deathline as the 1972 British horror film if you're interested set on the London Underground starring uh, Donald Pleasance Norman Rossington David Ladd who else was in it Clive Swift was in it and uh, Christopher Lee had a very small part as an MI5 agent so I like it worth checking out if you're into sort of 70s camp horror films it is quite it's, it's sad, it's gory, it's a good film, it's got a plot that could have happened. So I'll leave that there and I'll be back a bit later. Morning everyone, it's Saturday. <coughs> and yes, I'm in the garden, I'm always in the garden. I think I was in, the, in and out of the garden four or five times yesterday. And then she came out with Paul for two hours. She's not sleeping in the afternoon now, but at least she's sleeping at night, which is good. What are you doing, Jen? Are you going to say Hello. 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 Mama. <laughs> yeah, there's a good girl. Um, yeah, so I still haven't used the record cleaner. I might have a go at that tonight. I said that yesterday. But I gotta do it, I want to do it. It's just time just gets away from me. I finished my mermaid picture and now I'm in my Easter colouring book. I am doing this uh Easter egg. Um, so far, I've done a picture every day. I've completed one every day. So I'm three for three. It's the fourth today. This will probably just take me for today. Uh, that's one of the reasons I brought it out is I wanted to do some Easter pictures because um, it's Easter next week. So I thought I'd uh, do a few in this. I might do a colouring chat in this one next week. Um, Colour the happy Easter picture. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. The battery's going in there, so I'll have to find another one and get this one charged up. There's batteries everywhere. Um, but I'll check in with you later if I remember because I'm terrible for that, as you know. And uh, we'll see what's happening. Paul's gone shopping. He's going to take Jennifer out later. So maybe when he takes her out for a walk, um, I'll do the record cleaning then. Maybe then. So Paul and Jennifer have gone out. So they went out for a little walk. They won't be long. So I thought I'd get this out and have a quick look at it. This is the Spin Care. So it's the same as the Spin Clean pretty much identical that as you can see it's got the pads in it's quite tight at the moment because it's new it's got the rollers that you move across it's got a lid it's got a bottom as well the bottom comes out and it's actually a drying rack which is something you don't get with the uh, proper spin clean also comes with cleaning fluid and a microfiber cloth I've got several of those anyway so I'm just going to use the ones I've already got but I'm going to have a look and see how it goes. Um, I might put you on the tripod so you can have a look. So I've been cleaning a few records. There's three on the drying rack and there's one in there, number four. It's exactly the same process. You turn it three ways one way, three ways the other. Um, and it's fine. It's just very tight getting it out. So it says not to touch the playing surface, which you shouldn't. So that means taking it by the edge and the, and the label, but it's very, very difficult to actually get out. It's quite tight in there. I'm sure that'll change. Look, it's very shiny. You can see me reflected in it. Um, as it uses, I'm sure it will get a bit easier. So, but so far, it seems to be all right. Um, I'm going to do a few more and then we'll have a listen to see what they sound like. Hi guys, it's Sunday night. I haven't vlogged today because it's just been more of the same. Uh, more uh, playing out in the garden with Jennifer, colouring, and that's it really. We had a nice roast dinner, cooked a nice roast beef, 
and that's really it i've been sitting here eating crisps and mr kipling's lemon fancies while watching 101 facts about various things so i'm about to sit and watch 101 facts about ancient egypt before i head off to bed because obviously it's monday tomorrow i gotta work but hey ho it could be worse at least i've got a job so i got two ebays to post um i haven't printed the labels out they'll just go in the post box i can print them out tomorrow and Paul can drop them down at any time when he goes for a walk because they are just two large letters, so that's nice and easy. I'll try and do some listening tomorrow. Uh, I'll better update my accounts as well because we've hit the tax end year now. Uh, year of end. Yeah, the end of the tax year. So that's it, really. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this really weird, mostly outside weekly vlog because, like I said, I haven't done very much at all. I mean, obviously, I'm working now, so I've got a laptop, so tomorrow morning i'll be up bright and early and working get as much done as i possibly can um and that's it really it's supposed to be nice again next week so there'll be lots of washing on the line i'm just doing it as we've got a load i'm literally i'm just saying just put your washing anything to do, put it straight in the machine i'm just going to wash it get it dry keep on top of it i've got a load in there now on the go i'll be going out first thing in the morning trying to save a bit of money because obviously we're using a lot more electric because we're all home all the time so the tv's on We've both got laptops plugged in and on, as well as other things. Um, but yeah, I got I got three new colouring books today. I got Unicorn's Grey Scale, uh, Jade Summer. I got a Jack the Ripper one, which I will be uh, filming a flip through of. It's a very small one though. I'll just show you them very quickly. So this is the Unicorn's Grey Scale, Jade Summer. This is the Jack the Ripper one. As you can see, it's very, very small. Pictures aren't very good. But... You know, it says premium quality on it. It's really not. Um, but I'll do a quick flip through. Because I said I'd post it to the Jack the Ripper book group. And I got Sherry Baldy, My Bestie's Lil Gypsy Karen book. And that is so cute. So, yeah. But you'll see flip throughs and you'll see those properly. Obviously, in my end of month haul, if I do one. You can't see me. I've actually got to go and put some money into the bank and put some credit on my mum's mobile phone. Because I haven't done it yet, and I promised her I would. So I'm going to go and do that now, while I'm watching 101 Facts About Egypt. I'll catch up with you um, soon with a colour and chat. I haven't done it yet, because um, Paul's been going to bed late. So it makes it hard for me to do it after everybody's gone to bed. So I should make sure I try and do one on Monday. Um, so you'll see it on Tuesday. So I'll uh, catch up with you soon. Bye!